All right, let's do this. Listen, in my previous video, I talked about how and why we won't have another bull market. Not like what we just had. It's never gonna be like this. I mean it. Well, I would be love, like I would love to be wrong, but I don't think that's gonna happen. All right. And uh, well, if it happens, what's the point? My ego will not be hurt anyways. But if I was right, what happens to all of us who are hoping, thinking, oh, you know what? Yeah, we'll have, we'll see Pepe go 10x, 20x. We'll see this Casper. 100x we'll see uh, juno death of juno man what's happening with cosmos how many times am i supposed to create videos on cosmos and say it's becoming nasty and garbage and poo poo and then they start giving grants to other youtubers to promote <laughs> i don't understand the irony and yeah i won't get any sponsorship because it's it's, uh, it's a fact they don't reach out to me because um i'm pretty open i have opinion so if you have opinion unapologetic Basically, this is the way to go, all right? And I'm going to do another video, basically, where I'll tell anyone out there who is interested to do YouTube videos how, I'm actually, how much I'm making from my YouTube videos. Forget all those things for now. Let's actually talk about this real quick, all right? You really think some of these tokens are really going to do like whatever you think they're going to do? No, nah, I don't think so, man. Look at Akash Network, all right? Look at this. Just let me... All right, here. It's pumping right now. Amazing. But Bitcoin, right, overall... Oh, wow. Juno. Brutal. There are a lot of tokens I have on this list, which I'll break down later on. But I'm going to show you something like a total bird eye view. Random. All right. So check this out. 25,000 Bitcoin, right? It's bloody. It's bloody. The RSI, everything, whatever shenanigan, whatever guru you follow, whoever you follow, whatever chart you follow, just pull it out from wherever you want. Right. But it doesn't make sense. It's just going to happen, whatever it is supposed to. So cutting to the chase. If you look at all these tokens, literally slow bleeding. It's going to happen slowly. I, I'm, capitulation? Yeah, there you go. I mean, I know your feelings hurt, but what's the point, right? Now, the point is, if you look at Akash here, right? From 57 cents, boom, goes up all the way. $1.70 almost. Crazy. And I did, did a video said, wow, Akash, makes sense. But who's going to buy the top? Someone always will. And now what happened? It dropped all the way to 86 cents. Did I get some? Nope, not yet. I'll just wait. That's my game plan. All right, if it goes up, sure. But it's taking a bump. On the other hand... Same thing with Casper. Let me tell you this. What is Casper? I don't know. I just have it on the list for a reason, just to experiment and see what's up and learn, basically, learn from it. So back then, two years back, when I was hardcore on this Ponzi game, literally, I had all the alerts set, forums, Reddit, everywhere, telegrams. Every time someone something got listed, I, I was playing with it. Trias, I don't know how many things I played with. This time? No, not, not really. And obviously, you can see, I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything crazy behind the scene and telling you um, random stuff. I'm not like loading up and unloading on you people. You get the point, right? I ain't doing that. So yeah, that's the point. And another thing I've noticed, this dude, Alex Becker, I have to mention names, uh, and a bunch of others who are into metaverse and gaming stuff. They're just driving and riding onto the narratives. Bull run is dead, nothing is coming back, except gaming, NFTs. Listen, each of these mofos, they actually have NFT platforms. And the way they make milk is through these uh, royalties or whatever. I mean, I don't know. Let's get some clarification from the SEC on NFTs and all these whatever owners. But just think about this for a second. Driving narratives, right? I get the point. Yeah, maybe he's right to some extent. But yeah, this is dead, but this is not dead. It's just like saying, hey, you know what? Don't buy this guy's course. Hey, my course is awesome. You know what? I don't sell my stuff by commenting on other people or calling out other people's stuff. You get the point? I don't like compare and say, oh, you, that's bad. Mine is good. I actually let my service, my work sell themselves. Again, hear me out. Okay. That's all I do. All right. If I have to sell something, I don't have to be like, oh, you know, he, he's bad. That influencer is bad. I'm, I'm better than them. So you should follow me and don't not follow them. No, 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 it doesn't matter. It's up to you. You decide. Time is the ultimate truth. Over time, you will find out what, who did what. It's just like Super Farm started three years back. Nothing happened. After three years, you want to wait another four years, 10 years. That's up to you for something to happen. Because they will just drive the narrative. So my point is, I've been a gamer since those mofos didn't exist, since dinosaur ancient age, right? So coming from a gamer, when I think about this, oh, wow, now these mofos are trying to ruin the gaming space, all right? I'll probably give you my take on that some other time, like another video. But just to drive this home, my point, if, if you, did you notice what's happening out there, right? Global depression by 2025, but kind of the chase, since I showed you some of these tokens, all right? 99% of the altcoins, they're not going to come back. Even if the bull run comes back to whatever extent, it'll be for BTC. If you look at BlackRock, all the big institutions, they all talk about BTC, BTC, BTC. How many of them did you hear mention Chainlink? Okay, there are a few altcoins 
which makes sense. Other than that, most are just garbage meme tokens. All right. So anyways, so again, it's all about BTC at this moment. All right. And irony, these whatever, they're trying to get the leverage ETF. Can you believe this future? Not the spot. So they can leverage the plebs, the retail. At the end of the day, it's going to be the fight of this, the billionaires, or whatever, the huge, no middle class, nothing. And then the poverty, the poor, that's exactly what's happening. If you look at it, it's just no spot, nothing. It's just retail playing with leverages versus the corporations, the big dudes. And they're just pulling the strings and leveraging and just <laughs> sucking you dry. That's about it. Okay, so be careful. Liquidations. So again, I'm here to give you my point of view. All right, you take it or not, that's up to you. But uh, this is stuff that I'm actually, you know, going to give it to my family, whoever, friends, if they want to listen, it's up to them. All right. From the advice, not financial advice, of course. So again, to conclude, and I'm going to have some de decent different videos down the road. I actually claimed this Arbitrum airdrop yesterday. Someone told me about it. And I'm going to talk about this on a separate episode and some other tokens. All right. But it's not going to be any of these stuff because I don't get paid to talk about the particular token. There are certain tokens I hold, I still hold some of the Cosmos tokens and other, you know, whatever. I'm going to talk about it down the road to see from a bird eye view. All right. Most of the altcoins will bleed and dry. All right. Will not come back again. And all these influencers will just do whatever they can to promote their projects and stuff, the creator stuff. That's what it is. So if you are not any one of them and you have a nine to five and you struggle and all this stuff, you want to make something two, three, four X, whatever. You got to buy low and sell high. But also remember this, what you're buying is important. If you buy into Ponzi or scam, you get scammed. And 9 person is happy. That's happening. A lot of the tokens that was running on ETH layer one, now they're coming up with their own blockchain. Look at MM Finance, Mad Mirror Cats. They're still around. They're still milking with new NFTs and all this stuff. So they're not going to go anywhere. They will just rebrand, come back and do all this nastiness. Only a few percentage will make it. I want 1,000 of you actually to make it. Just at least 1,000. I want 1,000 solid buddies sticking around, rebels. Can I just get 1,000? I have 3,000 subscribers. Most of them are like dead, just hanging on, basically, you know, on the testicles. I don't want that. It's totally fine. I just want 1,000 real active rebels, like, you know, who actually would take certain things and do it, make it make it happen. So I'm going to end this and I'll come back with, um, to this chart sometimes down the road. There are a lot of things I want to show you, but pay attention to this one, all right? Pins. Pin. Oh my God, Pinterest. Yeah, it's, it's stocks. I'm also, I do stocks. Come on, finance, man. It's make money online kind of stuff. You got to be, we're here to make money. Not just uh, be narrow-minded and stick to just one thing. DeFi, crypto, NFT. Yeah, open up. All right, as long as it's legal and we, we have opportunities, let's scale. If look, look at Pinterest because I'm a user. It's a social media platform. And I'll break it down sometimes down the road. But amazing to see that it dropped all the way to $16, $17 in June, not too long ago. And actually, previously, when I seen it, when it was around $80, 87 that was too, for me, it was overvalued. And I was thinking there were words on the street that Amazon might buy Pinterest to gain access, like, well, I don't know, rumors. Regardless, I was, I was waiting for it to drop below 50 and it happened. It went down to 16 or so, but now it kind of got, you know, caught momentum and now $28. But why I'm saying this, because something to pay attention, I might probably pick it up down the road. I'm just looking at it. It's crazy to see that, I don't know why it's pumping right now. It's not AI related, but I do see Pinterest as a potential thingy. And um, all time, how was like 80 something. I'm not saying it's going to go back to that. It's not crypto, but there are certain coins and projects in real life. I'm talking about AI and whatever companies don't fall into a bubble. All right. Have an open mind and be careful. I, I have to understand when to buy and sell, not hold. And also, yeah, hold on to stuff long term wealth, but be careful. Anyways, my cats are going nuts. It's early morning. All right. I'm just going to end this here. And uh, yeah, I have quite a bunch of stuff I'm planning planning to do. So stay tuned. All right. And uh, don't lose hope. All right. When there is a hope, there's a chance. And again, 1000 Rebel. Are you one of them?